Greetings my fellow music lovers. In this video we'll go over how to enter data in Scale Workshop. The empty scale is not that interesting, so let's load up Feltonical Temperament again. Here in the Scale Data section we see some numbers. These are cents, or one hundredth of a semitone. When I press the keys, we see individual notes light up in the tuning table. The octave is equally divided into 1200 cents, as we can see from the doubling of the frequencies here. Here equal division means that the ratio from one frequency to the next is the same, so each of these ratios here is a power of roughly 1.059 or the twelfth root of 2. Here we have a sixth root of 2, a fourth root, third root, and six hundredths makes up a square root of 2. In data entry, cents are indicated by the presence of a decimal dot. Let's make 88 cents equal temperament. The zero at the end is optional. The scale repeats at 88 cents, so these octaves are not pure. We can fix that by making the scale repeat at a fraction of the octave, let's say 240 cents. To indicate frequency ratios, use a decimal comma instead of a dot. Here we have a nice major chord in just intonation with the septimal 7. For the sake of exercise, let's continue the pattern until we hit a double octave. The frequencies are evenly spaced, but the perceived pitch bunches up towards the end, as we can hear. And also see on this pitch ruler here. In music, we care about ratios of all kinds, so let's fill out the scale here. To input fractions, use a forward slash. So let's put a fourth in and a major sixth. A wonky Mixolydian scale. Just intonation can be challenging to work with, as indicated by these full fifths here, compared to the pure fifth here. Let's get back to twelfth tone by introducing the notation for equal temperament. Backslash fractions means this many steps of the octave divided into this many pieces. We can add a major third here to make a hexatonic scale inside the octave. Let's try something else. How about something in 7 EDO? You can divide other intervals besides the octave by putting it inside angle brackets here. The notation is also useful for taking roots. Here we can build a neutral chord simply by splitting the pure fifth exactly in the middle. If you're into advanced tuning theory, you might enjoy Monzo's. Just list the successive exponents of prime numbers here.
Intervals can be combined freely using plus and minus. Add in cents together works as you would expect. 100 cents plus 100 is 200 cents. On the other hand, decimal fractions multiply together when you add them as musical intervals. 1,2 plus 1,2 is 1,44. Slash fractions also multiply together. 4 over 3 plus 4 over 3 equals 16 over 9. Backslash fractions add like normal fractions would, so 1 of 3 plus 1 of 3 is 2 of 3. Monzo's add component wise. You can also combine different types of intervals together. It's common to see fractions with small sense adjustment like this. Key colors are set here. They do not affect the tuning, but they do affect the keyboard mapping in piano mode. That's basically it for data input. Just remember that you don't need to add unison as the first line here, and that the last interval represents the interval of repetition, or possibly the equation. Thank you for watching. See you next time when we go over interacting with MIDI, so remember to subscribe to the channel for that.